Hello everyone, this question is from linear algebra and this is based on basically the properties of eigenvalues. So we have few properties which we should always remember. So first let's understand the properties. If lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 up to lambda n are eigenvalues of a matrix A, then the first property says that if we multiply this matrix with a constant k that is for a k I mean k times of a k times a okay, this will also be a matrix right so for this matrix what will be the eigenvalue eigenvalue will be k times of each eigenvalue that is k times lambda 1 k times lambda 2 and so on k times lambda n fine the second property is also very similar we're saying I mean for the same given matrix A for which eigenvalues are lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n if we find out eigenvalue of A inverse that is A inverse then here also as expected the eigenvalues will be reciprocal that is 1 by lambda 1 1 by uh, lambda 2 and up to 1 by lambda n okay similarly third property is if we find out the eigenvalue for a to the power some constant k okay then in this case also what will happen the eigenvalue will be also the power of the same power k of these eigenvalues okay so that will be lambda 1 to the power k lambda 2 to the power k and so on lambda n to the power k okay so this is the property now using this third property our problem will be solved okay so the problem is saying if the matrix A has eigenvalues lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda n and the matrix S diagonalizes A so this part we will understand this part we will understand so the first part let's solve up to here then which one is true okay so the first one is a square has eigenvalues lambda square lambda 2 square and so from our first properties okay yes this portion is right okay but from our first prop I mean from third property this is also right okay so using this second part we have to solve which one out of a or c is right now let's understand what is meant by diagonalization so we have been given that matrix S diagonalizes A okay so it means S is an invertible matrix okay and when we multiply S inverse with this A and S again then we get a matrix D which is a diagonal matrix this D is diagonal matrix okay and we say that S is diagonalizing A okay so A was not a diagonal matrix and by multiplying S inverse and S around it we get a diagonal matrix so we say that S is diagonalizing it okay so we have another important properties which you should remember and we will not go for proof so by solving this we can write it as a equal to s into d into s inverse okay so here if we give power of n both side that is we write a to the power n equal to s d s inverse to the power n so it will come out to be s d to the power n s inverse okay so to diagonalize a to the power n what we need is the same s fine so the same s will diagonalize a to the power n also so here we have s square diagonalizes a to the power n okay but it should be that only s is diagonalizing it a to the power uh, 2 that is a square so for us this is also not correct this one is not correct because it is saying a square diagonalizes s square it it's completely reverse of what we are studying so for us the correct answer would be D here this is another property 
which one should remember okay and this problem was completely based on properties of eigenvalues i hope you understand it thanks for watching